I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The broader markets took a hit this week. They were in the correction zone as stocks sold off in a major way over the coronavirus fears. That certainly didn't help cannabis companies as this industry began its earnings season. Now, some companies actually had good reports, but you wouldn't know it because we still saw selling in the stocks. So here's the good earnings releases. GW Pharmaceuticals reported total revenue of $109 million for the fourth quarter. That easily beat their estimate for revenue of $80 million. They also trimmed their net losses to $24 million, but they did miss the estimate for losses per share. Valens Growworks delivered a solid fourth quarter in fiscal year earnings report. Revenue increased to $58 million for the fiscal year. Fourth quarter came in at $30 million. That was an 86% increase. And it was above the high end of their guidance range. Industrial Innovative Properties generated total revenues of $17 million in the quarter. That was an increase of 269% from last year's quarter. The REIT paid a quarterly dividend of $1 per share. That was a 186% increase over last year and a 28% increase sequentially. Now we have some companies that had decent revenues, but they were dwarfed by extreme net losses. Acreage delivered fourth quarter revenue of $21 million full year revenue of $74 million. Now their net loss though was $65 million for the quarter and a staggering $195 million for the year. The company also said on its earnings call that it might need to raise more money. MedMen said its revenue increased to $44 million for the quarter. That was up 50% year over year and 11% sequentially. The net loss for the quarter, though, was an eye-popping $96 million versus last year's net loss of $64 million. The company added two new board members and sold off the rights to licenses in Illinois that it received as part of the Pharmacan termination. Air Strategies, uh, their full-year total revenue increased 75% to $124 million, but their net loss for the year was a jaw-dropping $164 million. All right, enough earning news. Let's move on to some other news. Green Growth Brands announced that the BRN Group was going to buy their CBD business. The company said in a statement that at least two-thirds of the independent members of the board determined that GGB was in serious financial difficulty with limited alternatives. The company says it's going to focus on its MSO business. Now, you may recall GGB is made up of retail experts from Victoria's Secret who said they would teach the industry how to sell cannabis. Well, how's that working out for them? The delivery company Ease said it had raised $35 million in a Series D round. They could raise an additional $20 million. Now, this company was said to be running out of money and pivoting towards, they're now pivoting towards a plant touching business. So it looks like they've got a little bit more money to keep things going. And that's it for this week. Stay healthy, folks. Wash your hands. I'm Deborah Borchardt with the Green Market Report, reporting from our New York studio.